Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on which fictional pet you wish you had the most growing up. I've nominated 15, but list any down below that I might have missed. And at the end, be sure to leave your top pet down below. You're only allowed to pick one. So let's get started. Number one, Falcor from The Never Ending Story. <laughs> This 1984 fantasy film was adapted from the 1979 German novel, featuring Bastian Balthazar Bucks as he reads his way through the adventures of a warrior named Atreyu in Fantasia, who has help from a luck dragon named Falcor. I'm a luck dragon. My name is Falcor. Falcor is friendly, helpful, wise, loyal, and has an elongated body with pink scales and long hair, sometimes resembling more of a dog with those big eyes, paws, and his love of being scratched behind his ears. <sighs> oh. Luck dragons don't have any great magical talents, but as explained in the book, they can exhale blue fire and provide incredible luck for all those around them. <laughs> Number two, Battle Cat from He-Man. Let's go, Battle Cat. He-Man was an animated series first premiering in 1983 based on Mattel's toy line, Masters of the Universe. We follow Prince Adam, who has the ability to transform into his alter ego, He-Man, who defends the secrets of Castle Grayskull. Adam is accompanied by his cowardly pet, Cringer, who has the power to transform into the fearless Battle Cat when He-Man points his sword at his companion during his own transformation. Cringer became the mighty Battle Cat. Despite being a total coward and running at the first sight of danger, Cringer is loyal to his companion and has even put himself in danger to save his master. I I told you before, I don't wanna go. But when transformed into Battle Cat, both his size and courage increases, turning him into an armored tiger with a saddle. He is headstrong and both eager for action and excitement. Uh, maybe she's hiding. Good thinking, Battle Cat. Number three, Swift Win from Shira. I can't wait to show you my surprise. Shira is the long lost twin sister of He Man and the main character in the 1985 series, Shira, Princess of Power. Like He Man, Shira has the ability to transform from Adora into Shira, and her pet companion, Spirit, can transform into Swiftwind, the ultimate winged unicorn. Her companion is very loyal and loving in both forms, with the power of human intelligence, the ability to communicate telepathically, and this hungry fat guy voice. I'd love to. Come with us, Shira. As Swiftwind, he gains more abilities such as strength, speed, and even the ability to fly so fast around Ethereus' planet rotation, he was able to transport both himself and Shira into the past. A time traveling, talking wing unicorn? Uh, okay. Number four Gizmo from Gremlins. With Mokwai comes much responsibility. Gremlins was a 1984 comedy horror following the story of a father who got his son a mysterious pet called a Mugwai from a creepy Chinese man who set out three rules, even though someone broke the golden rule not to buy anything from a creepy old Chinese man. Hey, don't expose it to light, don't get this thing wet, and don't feed it after midnight. When Billy's Mugwai Gizmo gets wet, five more Mugwai spawn from his back who are very mischievous, rude, and all around a couple of troublemakers. <laughs> After accidentally being fed after midnight, the Mogwai create their own cocoon where they transform into gremlins, where these ugly, vile little monsters wreak havoc on the whole town. I don't know if the risk is worth the reward here. Sure, Gizmo is super cute and he can sing to you and stuff, but this thing is a ticking time bomb. The only way I'd ever keep a Mogwai is to coat it with that waterproof spray and then like lock the fridge or something. But then like, wouldn't spraying it make it wet? And then like, I'd have to kill all the new little Mogwais and... Uh, it's just gonna get really complicated. Number five, Buckbeak from Harry Potter. Ah, uh, Buckbeak. Buckbeak, who was later renamed Wither Wings, was a hippogriff who lived with Hagrid during Harry Potter's third year at Hogwarts and eventually flew off with Harry's uncle, Sirius Black. He is a proud creature who, if not respected, can be aggressive in return, but if treated with kindness, he can be very loyal and protective of his friends. <laughs> He has the front legs, wings, and head of a giant eagle, and the body, hind legs, and tail of a horse. But don't get him confused with a griffin who has lion parts instead of all the horse parts. <coughs> Number six, Luna from Sailor Moon. Rina, amazing! You're using your brain! This anime first premiered in Japan in 1992, and in the English version, we follow around a girl named Serena, who one day meets a cat named Luna, explaining to her she has the ability to transform into the Sailor Scout Sailor Moon, and is tasked with finding the Moon Princess. Luna is a highly intelligent purple cat with a crescent moon on her forehead who is very alert, loyal, and wise, never hesitating to put herself in harm's way to save her girls. Wow! Watch out, Sailor Scouts! She possesses some magical abilities, like being able to summon magical items from thin air and is the advisor to the Sailor Scouts. Makes Garfield look pretty bad, like eh? This, you shall reap what you sow. I hate sewing. Not that kind of sewing. Number seven, 
Tauntauns from Star Wars. Ah! This cute little number is a species of lizard native to the snowy plains of Hoth. Tauntauns are white and furry in appearance and can range from one to two meters high and can reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. Their long claws can help them climb icy surfaces and their horns can be used for combat. Though acclimatized to the icy planet, they cannot handle the chilling night temperatures that can reach below minus 60 degrees Celsius. In the wild, Tauntauns often traveled in packs of 25 members. And although these creatures were notorious for their unpleasant smell due to their many layers of fatty blubber, they could also double as a sleeping bag when you get cold. Mmm, toasty! I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Get your own, Tauntaun! Number eight, Pikachu from Pokemon. Pokemon was an anime series first premiering in Japan in 1997, based on the Nintendo Game Boy and trading card game in 1996. We follow Pokemon master enthusiast Ash traveling the world with his pet Pokemon Pikachu, trying to catch an array of Pokemon to be the very best. Unlike other Pokemon who are normally held in Pokeballs, Pikachu travels with Ash outside his Pokeball and has the ability to evolve into his second stage form of Raichu. Pikachu is a small, chubby, electric type Pokemon with the appearance of a rodent with a lightning bolt tail and pouches inside his cheeks to store electricity. Pikachus are loyal, sometimes stubborn, and oh, so cute. Pikachus can be found eating berries, but they are known for sometimes eating and destroying telephone poles, wires, and other electronic equipment. A Pokemon pet in general would be so sweet. Personally, I would choose Dragonite or Rapidash, Moltres, oh god, I can't pick. And number nine. Don't want to pick up poo all day? Hate that dog smell? No money for dog food? Well, friends, do I have the solution for you. Ghost dog. No mess, no smell, no life. Literally. Zero is Jack Skellington's ghost dog, featured in Tim Burton's 1993 fantasy musical. He has a glowing pumpkin nose and flies around like a bedsheet wrestling in the wind. He is Jack's loyal companion and uses his own gravestone as a doghouse. And although he can't talk like most animals on this list, he provides no shortage of ghost cuddles. Number 10. Every week I have to squish my garbage down and sometimes I can't fit it all in there. Then I have to wait until next week to cram it all again with even more garbage to deal with. The answer? My pet monster! No more snacks, monster. You've had enough today. The monster want more. My Pet Monster was a plush doll, first produced by American Greetings in 1986 and later spawned an animated TV series for one season. The show follows Monster, who lives with a boy named Max, and when Monster wears his handcuffs, they turn him into a stuffed animal. This little stinker is not only super cute and squishy, super helpful, but he'll be your best friend forever and even save your life. He can also eat my garbage. He loves to munch on garbage. He'll even eat the cans. Monster is a gold mine. Breed him one million times and you've solved the world's garbage crisis. Monster, glad to see you. Number 11, Nimbus from Dragon Ball. Hey, Piccolo, you think you can keep up with the flying Nimbus? Need a lift? It's like an Uber, but without the awkward conversation. The flying Nimbus is a magical yellow cloud that serves as a way of transportation in the 80s and 90s Dragon Ball series for only the pure of heart. Young Goku obtained Nimbus from Master Roshi as compensation for saving Turtle. Come to me, flying Nimbus! It served both Goku and his sons throughout Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z by acting as a high-speed transport without having to use up any energy themselves. Nimbus also showed some loyalty and intelligence by saving Gohan from death. There'll always be a soft spot at the bottom of my boot for you! Uh, uh, hey, where did that thing come from? Nimbus? Tell Nimbus all your problems and get all the worries of the day off your chest while cruising at a speed of Mach 1.5. Don't worry, he won't spill your beans because he can't talk. Number 12, Bronx from Gargoyles. <laughs> Hi, boy, I know how you feel. Bronx is a character from the Disney animated series Gargoyles, which ran from 1994 to 1997, where we follow a band of nocturnal creatures known as gargoyles that turn into stone during the day. After spending a thousand years in an enchanted, petrified state, the gargoyles, who have been transported from medieval Scotland, are reawakened in modern-day New York City and take on the role of the city's secret nighttime protectors. Unlike the rest of the Manhattan clan, Bronx is a gargoyle beast with a dog-like brain. Additionally, his lack of wings often results in him having to be carried by another gargoyle or excluded from the nightly activities, though he possesses excellent speed and agility. <laughs> Bronx is a fierce and formidable fighter when there is an emergency, a loyal friend, and a very good judge of character. Number 13, Slimer from Ghostbusters. Ew, I really don't like Slimer, but I know a lot of people do, so I have to put him on here. Ugh. The Real Ghostbusters was a spinoff cartoon of the 1984 live action film, and the title was later changed to Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters, featuring Slimer as the main star of the show. He slimed me. Ew, get out of my face. 
Ew, ew, ew! Slimer is a blobby green ghost that looks like a giant booger with a scary old man rapist face. He is a harmless, gluttonous, friendly blob that wants to help the Ghostbusters and has the most annoying voice in the world. And don't touch those cookies! Oh, no, touch that cookie. And number 14. Yoshi from Super Mario. Yoshi first appeared in Super Mario World in 1990, and throughout the years, he has helped both Mario and Luigi on their many adventures. Yoshi is a dinosaur with a big round nose, a row of orange spines along his head, orange shoes, and a shell-shaped saddle on his back. He was also able to transform into winged Yoshi. He uses his tongue to pick up objects, and in some cases, it can also be used as a weapon. Yoshi can also transform enemies and other objects he eats into eggs. And in some games, he was able to breathe fire. A manageable-sized flying dinosaur? Yes, please! And number 15. Wolf Pups from Princess Mononoke. What is it, son? Want me to crunch his face off? This was a toss-up between the Game of Thrones Dire Wolves or the Wolves from Princess Mononoke. Both really cool, but these ones can talk. Princess Mononoke is a 1997 Japanese fantasy anime film produced by Studio Ghibli following the struggles between the gods of the forest and the humans who consume its resources. Sun, otherwise known as Princess Mononoke or Wolf Girl, was raised by Wolf Clan and therefore acts, behaves, and resembles a wolf with a hatred for humans. Sun also has two nameless wolf cub siblings that she can ride on top of and talk to. These wolves are giant, fierce, and very protective of their small clan. How dare you show such disrespect to the wolf clan. So there you have it, guys. What do you think of my list here? I also have some honorable mentions I'd like to give a shout out to. <laughs> Come. You gotta be kidding. You're going to stay outside while I cook. Good. I hate being around acts of cruelty. Be sure to leave your top pick of which fictional pet you wish you had growing up down below. And remember to list any pets you think should have made the top 15 that weren't mentioned. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.